Let's take a look at Azure Blueprints, and this is a way to enable quick creation of governed subscriptions. The keyword there is governed. So the idea is like you can go in your account and just create a subscription, but when it's a governed subscription, that means there's a process uh, and certain expectations on how the subscription should be set up. Um, so the idea is you're gonna compose artifacts based on common or organization-based patterns into reusable blueprints, and the service is designed to help with environment setup. So blueprints are, are a declarative way to orchestrate the deployment of various resource templates and artif artifacts. And I just wanna emphasize that word declarative. Declarative means that everything is spelled out. So uh, we exactly know what's going to be created. And so artifacts could be role assignments, policy assignments, Azure Resource Manager templates, also known as ARM templates, resource groups, uh, and the Azure Blueprint service is backed by the globally distributed a a Azure Cosmo DB. Blueprint objects are replicated to multiple regions, so uh, they're definitely well backed up. Uh, and so the main question people are gonna ask, well, what's the difference between an ARM template and an, uh, an Azure Blueprint? Because an ARM template can automate the setup of stuff. Well, basically, nearly everything you want to include uh, for deployment in an Azure Blueprint can technically be accomplished in an ARM template. But the thing is, is that an ARM template, uh, you, you, are, you are storing that either locally or in source control, and there is no active connection or relationship to the ARM template. Whereas Azure Blueprints, the relationship between the Blueprint definition, what should be deployed, and the Blueprint assignment, uh, what was deployed. And it can also be, uh, Upgraded uh, it can also upgrade several subscriptions at once that are governed by the same Blueprint. So uh, Blueprint support improved tracking and auditing of deployments, that is a thing. So they're very similar to ARM templates, but generally if you have the options, you should always use Azure Blueprints. So there you go.